guys, Neck Lady here with Squishy Squid, and today we're gonna plant Jerusalem artichokes. Here it is, guys. This is the tub we are going to use to plant our artichokes in. We got this from Walmart. It is just a plain old 30 gallon tub, a tote, which we are gonna use to plant our Jerusalem artichokes in because. I don't have a bed in the ground yet to put them in, so I need to put them somewhere so they don't get bad. Before I plant in here though, I do need to drill holes in the bottom for drainage. So that's what we're going to do next. Alright, I've just finished guys, drilling holes in the bottom of the tub. Dust off these plastic shavings, we got some holes in the middle, holes in the edge. This should provide adequate drainage for our artichokes. Next step, I need to go find some soil to fill this bin with. Alright guys, now we are going to plant the Jerusalem artichokes. Yep. They are very cool. They look like this. They're funny looking knobby tubers. I actually got these from Papa Pepper. Yes, they're very interesting. They're very interesting. We've got a whole bag, bag of full them. of them. Let's see if you can see them there. And I actually don't have a garden bed in the ground to plant these in. So today we're going to plant them in this tub so they can start growing. And um, when we get our bed made, we can transplant some or all of them into the new bed. But this way they can start growing. We don't have to worry about them getting rotten or anything like that. So it's gonna be awesome. let's start. All we got to do is set the artichokes onto the soil. Go ahead. Just if you want to dump them out, you can. And then we'll space them out. Okay. Now normally you want to plant these about one to two feet apart because they will spread and grow like crazy. But we don't have that much space. So we're going to space them out as best we can. Go ahead and spread them out. Spread them out evenly. We're sitting them on top of the soil. The soil that we use is actually semi-composted goat bedding. Yep. Which is excellent and nutritious for these things. They will love it. They will grow well. Goat poo is rather like rabbit poo and it's a cold manure meaning you can just go ahead and plant stuff in it and you won't have any problems all right how's it looking pretty good pretty good all right this one looks like a chicken foot it's so oh, tiny here show it on the camera it's so cute yeah that is cute look a chicken foot. looks got like it's got little roots starting too yeah. okay find a spot for that too everything else is placed i'll just find the good empty spot like over here. Now these are all about six inches apart. Normally you want them at least twice that far apart, yeah. but that's okay. This will be fine for them. And you want to plant them about five inches deep. So my partner here, Snack Lady, is going to go ahead and bury these and fill them up with soil. Go ahead. Yep. You can go fast. You don't have to go slow. Um, this is soil that I actually dug from the ground where we used to have our compost pile. So naturally it's full of nutrients and things that have leached down from the compost pile. And if these plants are as robust as everybody says they are, they're going to grow really well in here. We are going to have a lot of artichokes. It's going to be great. Yes, we are excited. We've never grown these before, but we've heard wonderful things about them. They're very sturdy. They grow well. They're hard to get rid of, which is the kind of plant I'm looking for because you know, growing conditions in the south here are kind of harsh. The soil yeah. is sand usually. Obviously this soil is not completely sandy, but um, normally it is. This is just better soil because it came from the compost pile. But this, the soil is hard here. The growing conditions are difficult because it gets extremely hot here. So we're looking for a plant that will grow no matter what. And supposedly this is it. So we're looking forward to this as a food source for our family. Yep. All right, it is looking good. Yeah. Now that we have filled it up with soil, we are going to, do you want to go ahead and push the soil down a little bit? You just use your hands, just uh, press it down okay. a little bit. And we're going to put a layer of dry leaves 
as a mulch to retain moisture. And as the leaves break down, they will provide some extra nutrients for the plants. So here we go. Now I spread these out. Yep, spread those around. That won't be very hard. That won't be difficult at all. Way easier than the dirt. And there we go. The last step we have is to water them in. We need to water them. Make sure they got moisture to start growing. Go ahead and pull on it. There you go. Make sure they got moisture and also to compact the soil a little bit and make sure there's no air pockets. Yep, whenever you're ready. Woo! All right, that's probably good. All right, that's a lot of water. That's good. They should do really well. Jerusalem artichokes are part of the sunflower family and they actually grow very tall and have very pretty flowers on them because they're sunflowers so I'm yeah. really looking forward to that aspect too because not only do we get something cool to eat we also get very pretty pretty sunflowers, sunflowers. so that's it for planting the artichokes thank you for joining us and whenever they peek their heads up above the mulch there I will do an update and let you know how it went bye